welcome 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 to my channel today i am going to share a very simple shahi chicken sheik kebab here are the ingredients i will be using chicken thighs and you can use any chicken that is uh, breast piece or whatever it is and also if you want mutton even beef this is roasted chana dal it's a small cup and also i have added cashews in it it will give a very rich and shahi taste Next, I have added the cumin, roasted cumin powder, Kashmiri red chilies, and then turmeric little bit. And do not skip. The next one is the baking soda, quarter teaspoon, and half teaspoon of garam masala, and two tablespoon of salt. This is butter, two tablespoon of butter. And here I am adding white onions. You can choose any onions, red or white. And here I am using small bunch of coriander and very few leaves of. Pudina, it should be not be overpowering, very less. Now one tablespoon ginger garlic paste, and these are the red and green peppers, bell peppers. This is optional. If you want, you can even fried onions. If you don't have, you can add other onions. That is green chili paste and a small piece of lemon. I don't want lemon too much because I want to keep the liquid less. Next, I will be using kevda water. And rose water, both half teaspoon or even quarter teaspoon will be good. This will give a shahi taste. These are the ingredients. Now let's get started. I am adding the boneless chicken. I'll be just first mincing them. Then we'll add all the other ingredients. I'm using food processor. You can also use. A mixer or a grinder, whatever you have. It's a very very simple recipe. All you have to just take the ingredients and grind it. Now I'm going to add up all the ingredients inside my food processor one by one. These chee kebabs will be very juicy. And tasty. Just check on your salt. I have added two tablespoon. You can check if you want more salt. And I have added little less spice. As in my house, we we just take very less spices. You can add more chili and more chili powder if you want. Just keep in mind that you don't add any extra liquid. That's why I have kept the lemon very small piece. You can uh, you can also um, dry wash the chicken, which I did after washing it. Just pat it with a tissue or with any cloth, so that no excess water is there. You need all the sheik to be very very soft, but not liquidy enough. If you find that the sheik masala is little bit watery, you can add extra chana masala powder, Ch chana dal powder, not chana masala. I'm sorry, chana dal powder, roasted chana dal and cashew powder. Right, that will be balancing your texture. Yeah. Now I'm also adding this kevda water and rose water. Just very little. If you just add too much, it will be overpowering. You have to just add very small quantity of kevda water and rose water. Now this mixture is done. You give it a mix. Grind it to fine paste. You don't need to leave any small small particles in it. Fine paste will be very very smooth and juicy. Cheeks. Instead of butter, you can also use clarified butter. That is key. Not necessary that you have to add butter only, or even you can add half of oil and half of butter, or half of oil and half of ghee. Now I am frying it in oil. Keep on low flames when you are dropping in the cheeks.
just at this point you can see the cheeks are flat you just keep on the sideways and press they will puff up as we have added baking soda to the mix it will just make the sheet look round and they will puff it up now it's done look at this i have just excess chic i have packed it in the ziploc for refrigerating it i'll keep it in the freezer for future use now i'm just going to have a plate you can serve hot with the salad Tasty and delicious sheik kebab are ready. Just enjoy. Enjoy with any sauce. You can also serve with white sauce, hot sauce, ketchup, mayo, or even green yellow mustard. Delicious sheik kebab is ready. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.